All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very nice, uniquely rare 1968 Dodge Coronet RT 440 factory four speed. We'll walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Very nice car, car, uniquely rare. This car is 60,000 actual mile car. It's been refinished once in its factory color by the current owner who is the second and fourth owner. The car is fully documented. We've had it up on the lift at Spud's Garage. We've covered every number that we could possibly find on the car as far as identification and correlation to the factory VIN of the car. Uh, provided plenty of information, so make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Factory tinted windshield. This car is fully documented with a lot of original documents, including the, uh, we've got a show board that goes with it. The documents are all digital. It's so a factory ordered, the factory, uh, the dealer order sheet, that type of thing. It's an RT convertible RB440 factory four speed. Again, we went over all the numbers at, at, at Spud's Garage. It is a factory delete uh, rear stripe car, which is kind of unique. So you, you would think it'd have a bumblebee stripe on the rear. It was a special order by the gentleman that had ordered it. It spent most of its time in the Phoenix, Arizona area Pine, Arizona area, and uh, the gentleman had ordered it out of Missouri. Again, we'll have a lot of photos and stuff like that at spudsgarage.com. One factory refinish, and the only reason the current owner did it, who's the second and fourth owner, um, is he just wanted a little bit more dolled up. There was no issues with the body. Again, we've had it up on the lift. It's a factory equipped car, factory power steering, RB440, factory four speed. It has uh, factory power disc brakes, the uh, Dana 60 Sure Grip rear axle. Again, we mentioned the d uh, striped delete on the rear. The body is whistle straight and all the panels fit perfectly. You'll see, we'll get it up on the lift. We spent quite a bit of time. The bright work was, re was the uh, bumpers were re-chromed when it was refinished. Again, professionally refinished. All original panels on this car. We've taken date codes off the core support. The interior on it is all original. It's not been restored, including the carpet. Few minor modifications over the year. It has power top on it. Again, you'll want to go to Spud's Garage. This car is really special. They only built, according to some notes I have, about 88 of these cars in an RT with a four speed, 444 speed. Uh, pretty low numbers otherwise also for the 68 Coronet RT convertibles this is all factory upholstery like we spoke about there's a little one of the buttons over there is missing the cover on the driver's side there's a set here in the console to replace that button over the years a tack has been added over on the dash there the factory stack tack still works one of those era things to put a tack on the uh, column like that door jam uh, Door jam to door jam, very nice car. Rock solid specimen. Original dash pad, you could pick it for maybe just a little bit of a crack here and there, which shows you its originality. It has the factory 14 inch rally wheels on it. has white, uh, white wall tires on it, much like it did when it from the factory. It was ordered with the F7014 white wall tires, the original spares in the trunk. It is the original burgundy metallic. Well, again, we'll get paint codes and everything at Spud's Garage. Out here in the walk around, there's, not, there's no way I can cram all this into my head, but I have spent a lot of time documenting this car, and you will clearly enjoy it if you're a Mopar guy or looking for that special uh, late 60s muscle car this is the real deal rt rag give you a fit uh, the idea of the fit of all the panels on it the body panels themselves are absolutely whistle straight again that had no damage or no rust pre-restoration paint restoration only, put it that way. One refinish.
three pedals down there on the floor bucket seat console shifter that kind of thing we talked about it having uh, an extra button for over here on the driver's side the gentleman that owns it uh, has a home here in Lake Havasu City and one in North Dakota hence the North Dakota plates on it otherwise the car has been resting here quite a bit of time in Arizona they've added a uh, aftermarket temp gauge down here we're going to start it up and fire it up here for you after I get in here again here's the factory window sticker four-speed manual it has the uh, factory radio in it rally instrument cluster 60,376 actual miles at the time of inspection Dodge solid state AM radio still works we never turn them on during our see the factory tack works as a pro tack on the column here that's something the first owner put on the car the temp gauge down here so this has been disconnected here on the dash sure wouldn't be a problem to make it work this is a factory Hurst shifter and shift knob car runs beautifully all right there's a show board it's also all the documentation of the car here um, what we have are these copies it's included with the car it's got a nice little canvas cover that goes over the top of it it stays in the trunk of the car we also took digital photos of all these documents it goes into the history of the car an original check for the purchase again we'll go over that all at spudsgarage.com uh, according to his there's only 88 of the RT4 speeds built um, we'll go through those specs again at Spud's Garage. We're in the middle of researching the car right now. So again, we've taken photos of all this documentation. The current owner is the second and fourth owner of the car. Has the original, a copy of the uh, original underneath uh, uh, build sheet or buck sheet, whatever you would like to call it. Letter from Chrysler. This car was in a magazine called Muscle Machines. Uh, uh, four original owner cars that are not for sale. Of course, as soon as you uh, put in a magazine like that, it uh, gets chased down and purchased. And uh, this gentleman purchased it uh, from the original owner and then went to a friend and then back to him again. Uh, here's the original uh, order sheet from Melody Motors, how he ordered it. Here's the original window sticker. Again, these are all copies. This is all we have are copies of it. Again, another copy of the uh, uh, buck sheet or build sheet. There you go. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty of these all photographed for you. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood. We spent quite a bit of time at the shop uh, before the walk around covering all the numbers on this car. We've taken all the photos of where the factory stamps were, which correlate with the VIN number of the car. Uh, where they stamped it on the back by the uh, uh, oil pressure sender. The only thing that we could tell on this car that had been changed, which is pretty obvious, the Mickey Thompson valve covers, if you want factory valve covers, they're pretty easy to find uh, under the hood here. They did a professional refinish like we talked about during the walk around, uh, but all the paint underneath the hood here is all factory firewall below there, over there, factory power brakes, uh, power power disc brakes, factory power steering, intake manifold. We've actually taken pictures of all the carb numbers on it for you. The date codes on the intake, the date codes on the exhaust manifolds, exhaust manifold casting numbers, transmission numbers, casting numbers on the rear differential. It's a sure grip, Dana sure grip in the rear end. It's as factory ordered with 60,000 actual miles. You'll see it has a paint dab on the power steering pump right there, right here. And again, we went over all those numbers for you. The data, the fender data tag has never been off the car here. The date code on the uh, 
uh, uh, core support here correlates with the car. Correct air filter. Again, the valve covers are not correct. Um, we'll spend some time up on the lift here, so make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Again, 440 RB, RB 440, 375 horsepower, factory rated, factory hood pad. The bottom side of the hood was refinished during the professional uh, exterior refinish on the car. There you have it. All right, the owner is turning it around so I can photograph the other side of the car. Runs wonderful in it. Beautiful day here in the park. All right, he's gonna raise the top. Stays down most of the time. Alright, we'll get you in the trunk here. Very solid car like we talked about all during the walk around. This is an original tire off the car. It's the original spare. You can still see the writing on the side of it here. Wide tread, I believe that's a fire, uh, Goodyear wide tread Speedway F7014. Has the original jack over in the corner here. We'll get you underneath the mat here. All solid we actually took a lot of still photos at spuds garage you'll be able to study those the deck lid here we'll share in a minute up into the taillight bezels all the uh get up into the corners here do the same thing up in here passenger side Bottom of the deck lid is the original uh, finish on the bottom of the deck lid here. It's the original sticker. There you go. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, we have the uh, engine uh, stamp on the back of the block here by the oil sender, which coincides with the factory VIN, which is G226653. We'll also have photos at Spud's Garage. Okay, up on the front here, um, on the uh, flat surface here, we've removed or moved the uh, wire separator from the intake here, or the uh, valley pan. D440, 422, broaching to me, looks correct. Intake manifolds of 280, 6178, 322 date code. All right, carburetor tag. Radiator codes. It, uh, driver's side exhaust manifold uh, 041068 date code 2843992-2. Passenger side exhaust manifold. I'm not going to attempt to read it upside down because I can barely see it. We will take a picture and have it at Spud's garage. All right. Here's the transmission, uh, which is a match to the VIN. Uh, G226653. We'll take a picture. I can't read all that. We'll take a picture and have it at Spud's Garage. Right, quick little video here on the uh, differential numbers. We will take still photos. Tag. Cassie number right there. I believe that's a foundry date code right there. Again, we'll take still photos. All right, we have it up on the lift here at Spud's Garage. Uh, you've watched the video, you're near the end of the video. We actually do this portion of the video prior to uh, doing the full photo shoot and walk around the car just to go over everything. We went over every number. We're gonna go around the outside here and cover what we, uh, the rockers on this are rock solid originals. They've never, factory spot, pinch welds are all along the rockers here. It's been refinished once, like we talked about. It was factory undercoated. 
It still has the factory wheels and center caps on it, which are 14s. It has two 1570 R14s on it. We're going to go around the outside here, then we're going to cover the... Uh, pardon the little interruption there. Then we're going to cover the uh, undercarriage here for you. Just to cover all the rockers and the tires, all the original. I looked at all these center caps and trim rings. They all look factory. You'll see how the rockers were all refinished correctly, professionally resprayed. But you'll see all the factory spot and pinch welds are all the way along here. We'll actually cover the torque boxes for you in just a minute. Again, all center caps go around the post here. Rock solid, spent all its time in Arizona. Okay, we, uh, there's a short little stop there. I wanted to show you that this car was factory, uh, and we'll have all those photos at Spud's Garage, it was factory undercoating and underhood pad. I've studied this car inside and out, went over every casting number. All you see is light overspray from the refinish once, but that's all factory undercoating. Nothing was put on by the owners. Spent all its time in Pine, Arizona. As a factory, the gentleman actually ordered it without a shear grip, and when he ordered the four speed, they told him he couldn't do that because of the uh, four speed automatically required a, a sheer grip rear end. We had the original bill of sale. All the stuff we talked about during the walk around. Just covering errors. But it's never been a part back here. They have, uh, I took photos of all the casting numbers, that data tag right there. Let me slide this back. Put this piece of paper down. The owner has put a uh, electric fuel pump in the back here to add extra startup these cars sit for extended times it's nice to have an extra fuel pump bring the fuel up and not crank it over for two days all factory brakes again all factory undercoated underneath here nothing sprayed on it is rock solid um, up into the torque boxes we'll kind of give you a look here all solid no issues where it comes to the body here Either side, the mufflers we'll cover for you in just a second. Up into the torque boxes here, inner rockers. The mufflers are, I haven't seen these, uh, Cherry Bomb Turbo mufflers, so they've been on there for many years. The mufflers have been replaced, but the tailpipes and that type of thing, I believe, uh, other than the extensions they put on here, are probably original to the car. Um, dry climate operation kind of car. Torsion bar connection points here. As, again, I've spent a lot of time underneath this car. I know I'm talking, but uh, studied every nook and cranny inside the fenders here. Right front fender, we'll get over the passenger side here. Again, we've taken num pictures of all the numbers on the car. I know I'm repeating myself because this video walk around is going to be after I've done this the owner uh, had taken the oil pan down and he had uh, refit a new bung hole in it because it had got soft over the years so the oil pan has been off and back on casting numbers again we've went through everything it's a factory disc brake car uh, there are notes in the file. The owner, the original owner, rebuilt the front calipers and did not replace them. So the original calipers on the front, brake calipers, up into the fenders. By now, we think you've got a pretty good view of what we see. We'll do one more pass down here. Thanks for staying this long. If you're interested in this car, give us a call, spudsgarage.com. He's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. We documented this car a lot. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me.